If you guys didn't know, we came up with the name this morning. It's called I'm Not Addicted. Audio speeding and action. What has to do with iPhone addiction. We're out here. This is the crew that we're gonna work with today. We're gonna be messing with some interesting colored lights. Got the 4D. We're gonna be making a short film. I just wanted to take you guys behind the scenes so you could see the whole process. We'll go over lighting, maybe. Once we have our lights dialed in, we basically have the same settings for the whole film. So, what's the time? Three o'clock. Oh, we're starting right when we were supposed to anyways. Yeah. That is still so dark. Is that out a hundred? I didn't know, you thought you were gonna control. It was supposed to be cloudy right now. So we're actually recording a day to night scene and this light is just not powerful enough. So we're taking off the diffusion. Make it a little harder. We could probably soften it up in post, but we should be good. What I'm gonna have you do is you're mindless at this point. You're like strolling through a beautiful day, except it's night and you're gonna be mindless. Once you get there, the second you pull out your phone, I just want you to go like that and just pause. And I'm gonna switch to a different shot and then literally gonna just pan up to your face and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, where the heck is my phone? Like what just happened? And try to keep it low, like low key, like very just like relax, you're mindless, you're addicted. You're addicted. <laughs> and action. So yeah, see here's the shot, she's walking by. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have like light kind of oh, no. pointing right, kind of like lights coming in. Yeah. But yeah, let's see what that looks like. Okay, we're getting some shape. We'll just see what it looks like on camera. So you're going and you're walking past it. Yeah, yeah, not not too fast, but I like the sense of urgency in your feet, I guess. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Ready and action. We need all hands on deck. Audio, lighting, this is probably our hardest, one of our hardest shots that we're gonna do. But it's also one of the coolest. So it's the one where you're gonna be walking. That little step that you did gives the audience a sense that you're like looking around. So the next shot is gonna start off with you you're looking around and camera is gonna be facing up at you the whole entire time I'm gonna be walking backwards. This is where you guys are literally gonna be on her, keeping the same distance. Yeah, my man. You're probably doing the most in this in this shot, yeah. So, I'm just gonna say it out loud. Scene B. Scene two B, take two. And action. Oh man. Well, we have one slight issue. Yeah, this is as bright as it can possibly get right now. What we're gonna do, I wish if I would have had a bigger reflector, we could have just used that to diffuse the sun and it would have looked great, but I don't have that. So what we're going to do is we're gonna get this wide shot starting here. There's a lot less speckled light. Guys, it was supposed to be cloudy today and it's not like at all. Like it's not at all cloudy. Okay, so this is a big thing. Ideally, we wanna have extremely powerful lights so we can ND everything and make it basically nighttime. And then we add our lights, but we don't have that. We have some 60 watt colored lights, a 220 F22C, and some 100 watt lights, so. He'll turn it off right when we start. No! <laughs> All right, so right now we're actually probably taking too much time, but we're waiting for the clouds to roll in just to get this shot. Did you hear that noise? Oh Did you hear that my noise? god! There's a wild big Alright, so I think we're going crazy out here. Uh, yeah, clouds, 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 clouds. Go, set, set, set. Speeding. Might seem crazy, but this is literally how the shot went. It took about an hour and a half to get a little sequence done, and that's because there was a 90% chance of clouds that day and the 10% one. 
One thing you'll notice when she puts her bag down is there's a flashing pink light in the background. That we did by adding the F-22C in the forest. It's like this eerie light that she's constantly following and she thinks that's where her phone is at. I'm not too sure if it translates in the film, but that was the effect we were going for. This next sequence is her actually going through the woods. First, we start off with a POV shot of her walking. It's kind of shaky. And then right here, I am jerry-rigging this June M20C to the lamp just to motivate more light on her face as she's walking through the forest. Yeah, should I, put I don't even know if it's gonna do anything, but... <laughs> this might even be kind of obvious, but I don't care at this point. Here's Kaike adding some haze for our first POV shot. And then right after this, I'll show you guys the actual shot. I think it came out pretty, pretty cool. Ready and action. You're coming out of the forest and then it's gonna transition into you have a meltdown. So you go around and you're like, you thought you were going into a little pathway and now you're in the middle of a forest, you don't know how to get out. At that point, once we're done with those shots, I'm gonna get one of you just going, and then it's gonna pause. And from there, there's gonna be this glowing light on you. So meltdown first, circle, circle. That's one shot, right? We'll cut and then you'll get me going onto my knees doing yes. the, the thing. So, well, first it's like a mini meltdown. You're having the, like anxiety attack. And then the big meltdown is when you're going like that and then the, the ah, lights can be on it. you. And then we cut to the last shot. Okay, cool. And we're done. I thought it was gonna be just me, Ollie, and one other person. And then everyone was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Like I wasn't expecting squat. So you guys are killing it. This is way too much to do in one day and you guys are still killing it. So I just wanna say thank you. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, bro. That looks funny. So basically what this is, it's like sometimes in movies they'll show you like a doorknob and you'll be like, what the heck is that doorknob there? It's like subliminal messages that they'll say. So at the beginning, remember when we saw her feet, her shoes walking? Yeah, they were spotless. I wanted to create this sense of like, she's been at this for so long. She's ragtag, like, put a little bit of, can I actually? Okay. I might like dirty certain things up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this can be cleaned, right? Yeah. Okay. And then a little bit of... Oh, it's like a scrub. Yeah. Just like a little, like a layer of soot. And now let me just get a little bit. There you go. All right, you good? I think so. All right, now, now just to sell it, just go like that, wipe a little bit just cause it, it's like caked a little bit. Here, trooper. All right, so we just wanted to sell the look. Right, Louisa? Sure do. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it happens like in every video I fist bump myself. Hey, can you remember that? That's true. And you are good to go. So all these next shots, you're freaking out. You're looking around and you're like, I'm done. I'm lost. I don't know where my phone is. So like, I'm gonna die. I'm addicted. Ready and action. Ready and... <laughs> Walk up. You're gonna go, you're gonna light her as much as she can as she's walking. Like what you're gonna do, bro, is you're gonna come back and as she's getting here, you leave it in the bush and you run away. Action. So this shot ended up being way more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I had to go through all these trees. I thought it was gonna be really cool to get the moving motion. I've always wanted to do that in a short film. So because it was taking too long and everyone was getting bit up and it was getting super dark, I ended up just taking a second take with a tighter focal length as a safety in case I wanted to do a masking wipe transition. So it worked out. Boom. 
go the down. shot still was a little iffy, but yeah, <laughs> we did what we could. I feel like I learned a lot from actually shooting that short film and editing the BTS. I learned from a couple of mistakes that we made, some things that we did well, some things I wish I would have done. But all in all, this was a really fun project, had a super solid team. Oliver and I, who was the assistant director, we actually did a pre-shoot the day before. So we did have an idea of what it was gonna look like, but I do think we were a little ambitious with the shots we were trying to get and this whole day to night film. It did turn out pretty well. I have some amazing stills from it, some good shots, good footage, and I will be finishing the film within two to three weeks. I'm still going back and forth on the color grading portion what look I personally want. So stay tuned for that. And in the next couple of months, I have some exciting videos coming out about lights, lighting techniques regarding huge soft boxes, book lights, umbrellas, something that I was personally wondering about on what's actually worth it. So if you are interested in that, consider subscribing. If you have any questions regarding this BTS or something that I didn't mention because I didn't go over everything, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And everything in this video was graded using Phantom LUTs and even the footage from the actual short film and those will be linked down below as well as all of the gear that I used to make this short film and all the videos on my channel. With that being said, this was super fun and I'll see you guys in the next one.